calling at East Croydon and London Bridge. Welcome back to the Gamer Muscle Complaints Department where we're going to be talking about the Simcade problem. And for those of you that don't know, and you probably don't know because I've just invented the Simcade problem, the Simcade problem is the problem with the word Simcade. In that, though it's handy to have a word that describes games that are neither arcade or simulator, it's really just fallen apart and turned into some bizarre insult against whichever driving game a person happens to dislike. The question is, where, where do you draw that Simcade line? Say a driving game has laser scan tracks or pretty much one-to-one -one tracks with reality, but then a tyre model that seemingly doesn't line up to reality, is that then Simcade? Or is that more Simcade than, say, a game that has a really realistic tyre model, but lacks a high-quality track to actually drive that tyre model on? Maybe Simcade comes down to the intention of the developer, but do you still call a title Simcade even if it's not trying to be a simulator at its core, but coincidentally has aspects of handling or aspects of simulation that are better than a game that's marketed and sold as a simulator? And what about games that are marketed as simulators and no doubt have incredibly complicated mathematics behind them that drive in certain situations less realistically than what can be found in arcade titles. And then lastly as an example, what if you had a game like R Factor 2, a set of course iRacing, any of those titles, what if one of those actually had a fully fleshed out single player with fancy graphics and unlockable nonsense? Would having all that suddenly make it a Simcade or arcade title? I don't think it would. And I think having thought about the, the term Simcade and how it's used really got me thinking more about how you actually break individual games down into their individual components and just how complicated driving games are, even if you go to the full-on arcade spectrum or the full-on simulator spectrum. All these games now are just absurdly complicated and have so many components that it's easy to see why a person might find a specific component in a game not to their liking or not particularly realistic and therefore in their mind that then makes that title a Simcade title. I personally however think we need to stop using the word Simcade and instead just say I like this game, I don't like this game, I find this part of this game realistic, I find this part of the game unrealistic. People that put sugar in the tea need to be executed. People that drink twinings are the best. It's really quite simple and it need not be complicated. And I also think it's worth pointing out that as advanced as simulators are, and I, I consider driving simulators as the height of contemporary realism art, as advanced as they are, you know, they're not perfect. R reality is actually quite complicated. And as a result, even the best simulators or the best simulated car in the best simulator, whatever that is, and you know, with whatever equipment combination you use, you know, it's always gonna have aspects to it that are abstract and fundamentally unrealistic. So what I'm trying to get at is that everything is Simcade. Simcade everywhere, no, no escape from it. So yeah, the word Simcade is totally useless. And uh, people are going to keep using it, aren't they? This, this whole video was a waste of my time, really. But, you know, hopefully if someone says the term Simcade, you can link this video to them and they, they'll watch it and they'll go, oh yeah, actually, Simcade's not a very good describer. I better actually put some more words in there and actually talk about what I mean. But there you go, there's not much more to be said on the subject, I think. I, I, I feel relieved now. It, it, was, it was nagging me. I don't even know if I conveyed a clear message in this video. Uh, I'd like to think so. But uh, click the subscribe button and like or dislike. Someone's going to write Simcade as a comment. Congratulations. The troll is accepted. I admire your troll attempt. And um, until the next one, guys, we we're playing a set of course in the background. I've got VR set back up in the rig. Fantastic VR times are about to occur. Um, till then, goodbye.